Just my personal opinion, you transform anything into a cyborg and you instantly raise its coolness factor. That even includes a potato. It's Roblox Monday, so today we're drawing Cyborg Mr. P from Roblox Piggy. Now we're going to get started at the top of our page with the bottom edge of the hat. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to draw a curve coming down in the middle. And then we'll bend that up on the right side. And then we'll tuck the body in underneath the edge of the hat. Starting back on the left side, we're going to curve the body going out. I'm going to round this out and then come down and in towards the middle. Now the bottom half of the body shifted over towards the right. So let's start back at the bottom, go out towards the right, we'll round this out, just pull that back in, and we'll curve that up towards the right side of the hat. Let's add the eyes along the top of the body. We're starting on the left side and drawing a large circle. Starting from the top, Come all the way down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now we'll add a smaller circle on the inside. Now let's move over and draw an oval for the right eye. Starting from the top, come down towards the bottom of the oval, and then back up. Now we tuck the left eyebrow in behind the eye. So we step up and draw an angled line, coming down. And then in. Let's flatten off the ends with a short line, coming down, and then we'll tuck this in behind the eye. Starting from the outside, come down and in, continue along the inside, and then we'll fill the eyebrow in black. Let's go to the top of the right eye and angle up and out, just above the eye. We'll flatten off the ends. We'll close off the top, and then we'll fill the eyebrow in black. Now we're going to add two wires on the outside of the left eye. We're going to start with two lines going out, just along the side of the head. Close off the end with a half circle. Now we're going to move up and angle two lines going up and out, leaving a gap on the side of the head. And then again, we're going to close this off with a half circle. Now we're going to move all the way down and draw on the mustache. We're going to leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the mustache coming down, and then bending that up, move over towards the right, and do the same thing, coming down, and then up. Let's flatten off the end of the mustache with a short angle line. Now I just want to taper this back up towards the inside. So we're going to come down and then just pull that up towards the inside. Let's open up the right side of the head. We start at the very top, start with a straight line coming in, come down, we're just going to work our way around the eye, and then come in with a straight line. Now let's angle this down and in, come down towards the bottom, now we're going to go out towards the right and we'll come straight down in behind the mustache. Let's go to the inside of the mustache, draw a straight line coming down, go out with a short line, and we come down with an angled line towards the bottom and then go straight out towards the right side of the body. Now we're going to add a grid pattern along the inside of that opening. Let's start at the very top. Start with a straight line coming down. Now we're going to continue this line underneath the mustache towards the bottom. Let's step over, draw another line coming down, and then we'll continue this down towards the bottom. Let's add a couple more on the side. From the top, we step in, straight line coming down, continue underneath the mustache towards the bottom, and we'll step out and draw that one more time. Now we draw a series of lines going across. Starting from the top, stepping down, go across, and leave an even space gap in between these lines. Now we're going to come all the way towards the inside. Just add a couple more. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the hat brim. From the top corner, we're going to step down, we're going to curve the hat brim going out, and then up, 
So I'm going to round this out and then come back in. Now I'm just going to dip down the center of the hat brim. Just on the same curve of the hat going down and back up. And then we're going to wrap this around the side of the head going out, down, and then tucking that in. And then we're going to draw on the top of the hat. We're going to line up with the top corner of the head, go up above the hat brim, draw a curve going up and then in. Let's round this out, come straight in. Now as we get towards the right, we're just going to bend that up. Let's round out the top, come down and out on the right side. I'm also going to add a fold along the right side of the hat. Starting up here, curve down and then over towards the left. Now let's move out to the sides and draw on the arms. We're going to start with the arm on the left. Let's start with the hinge. We start on the side of the body, draw a straight line going out, step down, draw that same length line. Now I'm going to close off the outside with a curve, going out and then back in. And then we'll draw on the top of the arm, starting from the bottom corner of the hinge, draw a straight angle line going out and down. Now we step up and draw another line going down, close off the bottom with a curve. And then we'll draw the forearm coming down and in. Let's start from the outside of the arm. Come down and in with a straight line. We'll go to the inside of the upper arm. Draw another line coming down towards the wrist. Let's add in three fingers. Start from the outside of the wrist. Angle down and out. Go to the inside. Go down and in. I'm just going to flatten off the fingers with a short line. Now we're going to pull this back up towards the middle, leaving a gap in the center for one more finger. And then from the inside, we'll draw two straight lines coming down. Close off the finger with a straight line. Let's move all the way over towards the other side and draw on the right arm. We're going to line up the top of the arm. Start with a straight angled line going out and down. And then come down in an angle. Now we're going to step down just trace that out. Going down and in, and down towards the wrist. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. Let's surround the base of the wrist with an oval. From the inside corner, we're going to step up and draw that oval. Going in, out, and then pull that back in. And then from the outside of the oval, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming down and out. I'm going to pull this all the way down towards the bottom of the arm. Now let's go to the inside. We draw that same length line, coming down and in. We'll connect the bottom to the outside with that same curve, coming down and then up. Now from the bottom of this line, we draw a short line coming in, and then we'll go all the way up towards the top. Let's go back down towards the bottom corner, draw a short angle line going up and in. And then again, we're going to pull this all the way up towards the arm. Now about halfway down this line on the outside, we're going to curve out and then go up. And go straight up towards the top. Now we're just going to bend this out, going out towards the right. Round up the top, come in and then just pull that down in behind the arm. And then from the bottom of the arm, we're going to draw two lines. One on the inside, going down to right about there. Go to the outside, draw that same length line. Close off the bottom with a curve, going down and then back up. Now we're going to go back underneath the body and draw on the legs. We're going to leave a large gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, curve the leg going out, and then down towards the heel. Move over towards the right and do the same thing. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, I'm going to curve down and then up towards the toe on both sides. Now going back to the left side, we're going to draw on the top of the foot. We're going to curve the foot going up. It's going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to taper the leg going up underneath the body. So the space is going to get narrower as we go up. Same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's Cyborg Mr. P from Roblox. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.